Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Are you feeling charitable? If so, please smash the subscribe button and the like button. And please do follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad, where we're having a lot of banter and a lot of fun and a lot of celebrations since the day Zack Snyder's Justice League was announced for release in May of next year. Right now, um, we're, we're reading a Screen Rant article about Man of Steel, one of my favourite movies from the DCEU franchise or any film. What a great Superman movie. Man of, Steel, Man of Steel's phallic Krypton designs were intentional by Zack Snyder, by Caff Ca Carrie Fishbane. I can actually read that. Brilliant. Pleased to meet you, Carrie. Man of Steel director Zack Snyder confirms the House of L Citadel is phallus shaped on purpose, saying that design wasn't an accident. And it's a beautiful design. Look at this design, right? It is gorgeous. Snyder knows his stuff. It's just gorgeous. No one makes films as vis visually stunning as Snyder. And, you know, the way he makes his comic book movies look is the way comic book movies should look. They're a fantasy world that should look stunning and beautiful on the eye. You know what I mean? A as fans have noticed since Man of Steel released in 2013, the House of El Citadel on Krypton holds a distinct resemblance to a certain part of the male anatomy. Right, I didn't know we were going there. And the film's director, Zack Snyder, recently confirmed that's on purpose. After directing Man of Steel, Snyder became the architect to what has become known as the DC Extended Universe. Ex I should have really read this first, shouldn't I? Expanding his cinematic world with tw 2015's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justin and then 2017's Justice League. He departed during the post-production process on Justice League and hadn't return returned. But his, Justice League, uh, but his Justice League Snyder Cut will be releasing next year. Though Snyder's DC movies haven't fared well with critics across the board, they found plenty of fans. Snyder's comic book movie work is regarded for its symbolism and attention to detail. Man, I can't wait to see what they're talking about. Man of Steel's included dozens, or if not hundreds, of Easter eggs, some of which viewers spotted on first viewing, and the others that are only being revealed now. Fans are also still unpacking the symbolism in Snyder's films, even years later, including certain symbols in Man of Steel. In addition to the Citadel, the Kryptonian pods and certain portions of Kryptonian ships have been highlighted by fans as resembling male and female genitalia. What? During a recent rewatch and live commentary on Vero, Snyder spoke at length about Man of Steel and its various aspects of the DC film. Early on in the movie, during the opening scenes on Krypton, he said the Citadel looking like a giant phallus is not an accident. Uh, all the fertility symbols were intentionally included in the movie, a visual representation of um, Kryptonian culture. Oh, right, I get it. Yeah, pretty cool. While Snyder didn't specifically reference the Kryptonian pods, they are also phallus shaped for the Kryptonian ship wall that looks like female genitalia in deleted Justice League scenes. Oh, this is going to get, the, the haters are going to love this, aren't they? It all ties back to the symbolism in the designs of this alien culture, as established in Man of Steel. Kal-El, who becomes Clark Kent, aka Superman on Earth, is one of the first natural births on Krypton in a long time. Prior to his birth, Kryptonian had had forgone natural childbirth so they could genetically engineer children. It appears that Snyder meant for these phallic symbols to be one to be one way Krypton's culture is represented in their architecture and engineering. Whether or not knowing the symbolism improves the experience of watching Man of Steel is down to each viewer, but those curious about how Snyder crafted his DC cinematic world may find this fact fascinating, at the very least confirmation that the Citadel and the Kryptonian pods are meant to look like phallus shaped re reveals in the intention behind those designs in Man of Steel. Uh, for, well, thanks for that article. Uh, no, it is interesting. No, I think it's amazing and interesting. And the whole point of showing that, um, showing uh, those shapes as body parts, is to show you the reproduction, um, the, what's going on on Krypton. So that is very interesting. Um, it's just what Zach does. He, he likes to put meaning into everything. And that's what I love. But the Citadel does look utterly stunning. But what do you think? Do you think the, the design of Krypton is the best design of Krypton you've ever seen? We've seen a version, of course, on, on Superman the movie, the Christopher Reeve um, franchise. We've seen kind of a little bit on Smallville, although Smallville really just kind of ripped from 
Christopher Reeve's movie verse as well. Um, I think that what, how Zach designed Krypton was amazing and it's stunning and it's the best design and the best version of the planet I've ever seen. I wanted a Krypton spin-off um, kind of movie verse. I know we got the TV show, but that ended very quickly. But I would have loved kind of this teased Jor-El and um, Zod kind of um, movie franchise as well. That would have been cool. But who knows what HBO Max are willing to do. Comment down below. Like, share and subscribe. I'll be back later with even more DCEU Daily. See you again soon.